Got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass. Got an invisible fence letting everyone know not to trespass. But you're bound to break down, bound to lose. Bound to get knocked right out of your boots when I use my I'm like, I get beer in my bonnet. I think, let's let's move the roundabout. The the room around, there's only two ways this room can go because of the shape. Ah, uh, so we're back to one of the originals. <laughs> I'll turn the camera around to show you what it looks like. TV here. There we go. There's the door. Go around this way. So we've got the chair here, uh, we've popped the sofa under the window. The reason we tend to move it away from there is because Elsie's a pain in the backside. She's always, well, she's always up there anyway, barking at everybody that goes by, defending her space, you know. Um, anyway, we've gone for the change and uh, popped the little table that was over here. It is now over there with the, um, the pug lamp on. And that's basically the only changes, really. Um, it's kind of made it look a little bit more spacious here, but of course I've got the dog beds there and their toy box there. Of course I have. Uh, need to clean up out here now. Yeah, hi guys. I'm at my daughter's house today and I'm looking after, well only for a little while, I'm looking after Rocco. Rocco! He's a good boy. He's a good boy, baby boy. Yes, he is. Uh, Chris has just taken Holly and uh, my grandson Ethan off to the dentist. Um, so I'm just at the house at the moment, just sort of like watching the pets while they've gone. Tallulah! And it's a Lula Bell. Yes, she's a good boy. Oh, she's a beautiful girl. And I, oh, you didn't want him to say hello to you. Did you do snap snaps? Look at the guinea pigs. Hello, girls. Hello, girls. Are you okay? Yeah? Are you eating? You've been up there all day, haven't you, on your little shelf there? Yeah. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to pop my head in to see if the rats are all okay. Um, we went to TK Maxx today and HomeSense didn't, to be fair, didn't look around TK Maxx. I know HomeSense and TK Maxx are all part of the same thing, but we kind of aimed more to home base straight away. Oh, I've got some amazing pumpkin smelling candles. Hello babies. Are oh, you wakey wakey? Hello, my darling. Hello. So these are the boys in here. There's, I think there's three of them in here. Two of them are quite new. Hello, sweet pea. Um, they come out all the time. They're always out. Uh, Grandma made. <laughs> oh, I think there's one in there that I. Oh no, maybe not. His grandma, well, me, made lots of uh, all their little beds and stuff. Oh, there's the other one up there in the ball. Can we see him? Where is he? Are we focusing? I don't know, but he's there in the little ball thing anyway. Hello, sweetheart. Hello. Is it grandma's babies? 
It's your grandma's baby, is your Julie? Yeah, you is. I know, darling. I can't get you. Grandma can't get you out because if you run off, I'm not quick enough to pick you up. No, I'm not. Here's your beautifuls. I'm going to go and see the girlies now. Make sure you've got water and everything. Yeah, you've got water. Yeah, you've got everything you need. Yes, you have. Hello, Baba. Hello. So there's three girls in here as well. Um, Bella is the white one. Right in the middle, if you can see her. Let me see if I can get her face. There she is. Hi, Bella. She is so old now. I'm really surprised, you know, she really is so old, bless her. Hello, my darling. Have you got some dinner in your mouth? Yes, you got some dinner in your mouth? Yes, you have. Yes, you have. You're so beautiful. Yes, you're a good girl. Oh, you gorgeous. Hello, Baba. You're hiding. You snuggled up with Bella, Bella. Oh, they're just lovely. Yeah, so you can see just how much my daughter loves her aunt. lovelies today is now thursday um chris went and picked a little dog up today that's on his holly bobs with us so we've had him before he's pepper poodle and i will insert a little clip of pepper just about pepper, here Um, I'm feeling a little bit better today. I think I've got a bit of like a summer cold or a head cold. I feel um, quite headachey, quite sort of fuzzy headed, if you know what I mean, behind the eyes. I mean, yesterday I had a diabetic eye screen and test where they put, you know, the drops in your eyes. That played havoc with me for the rest of the day because... Um, it opened my my eyes so much. It was so bright outside, even though my, I kept my sunglasses on. It gave me a massive headache. Um, but yeah, genuinely, I didn't feel brilliant. Um, I don't know, a couple of other reasons I'm thinking maybe I didn't feel brilliant also is because since having this um, trapped nerve in my back, 
and I've been on a medication for it. I actually ran out and I ran out last Friday and I've been trying to like put in the repeat prescription. Um, it was my own fault I ran out because sometimes I was in such immense pain with it. I actually took a little, little tablet too much, you know. I knew it was safe to take it, but it meant I just used them up a bit quicker. Um, and then I picked them up today, or we, Chris and I went out and we picked them up today because my repeat prescription was in today. Um, and I've taken a tablet today and I'm feeling, although I've got this cold thing going on, in myself I feel a bit differently. So I am wondering whether I was sort of like on a little bit of a, um, bit of a detox because I know because it's tramadol and you're not meant to just stop tramadol you're meant to wean off of them and of course it was a stop and it made me feel really really rough very rough so I'm original dose proper dose anyway I have had an order through from does it say on the box it doesn't feel unique um i needed a few bits and bobs so i ordered them because like a lot of us i'm still not really going out to the shops much you know right bubble wrap there returns label there's only a few bits here that i needed um okay so the very first one that i got is it's just the the nyx or the nyx um mascara for your eyebrows um this is what i use all the time i have a little i know i've got, still got one on the go don't think i've got an awful lot left in there because it's starting to feel like a little bit more dry um so i've just ordered another one just as a standby um and this is in brunette which is the color that i generally just put on my brows so that's that i'm just going to pop that away in my drawer ready for when i need it and the other thing I picked up, or ordered, I should say, is some. So these are by L'Oreal, or this is by L'Oreal, I should say. Um, and it's the Clinically Proven Lash Serum. So 94% apparently agreed lashes looked fortified. 97% um, of people saw less lash loss. And 81% that they looked fuller so you brush onto the upper and lower lashes from root to tip fly morning and night okay but i'll give that a go and i'll feed back on what we think this is going to turn out like got like a little brush like that oh i see so when you brush it on you do it like from like your lash line and you just go across like that so I reckon this is the bit that you turn, yeah. So when you use that, it turns to bring the product up to the little brush. So I'll let you know how that goes. I ordered this mascara, which I'm, I'm, do you know what? I ordered this before I ordered the one that I'm using. Now I saw one on um, Amazon. I think it was four pounds something and I got it. And it was such a bargain but i'd already ordered this one and this i think was 8.99 but the order was already on its way um and i just thought well i you know i'll just keep that put that by um but it is the maybelline um sensational luscious mascara and it's in dark black yeah i'm really enjoying the one that i'm using so it is the same as this but it was like half the price and I did, I'm sure I linked that in the, if you have a look at my last week's vlog, I'm sure I linked the little um, link for that, for the cheap, cheaper one. And then the last thing I actually bought was another lipstick. This, I just fancied the colour. Um, it's by Kiko, Kaiko, Kiko Milano, Kaiko Milano. Um, and it, it is in colour 02, Unlimited Stylo is the colour. I thought this packaging was very cute. Look at that. Isn't it nice? It's different, isn't it? 
So you literally just push up that. I haven't used this make before. If you can see all this on my arm, it's because I've just done a birch box video. I'm going to take that off. There we go. Okay, so it's like a sort of a balmy lipstick. So that's what the colour looks like. That looks nice, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going in. I'm looking in the mirror over here. Ah, oh, that is so hydrating. Uh, makes me look a little bit like a ghost. Uh, it's pretty. It's a pretty colour. Not normally the colour I'd go for. It. I thought, looking at that, it might be a little bit more sort of rosy. I think with this I'd need a lip liner just to, um, I'm just going to try a lip liner to see if it like make a difference between, you know, the lip and my skin. Yeah. That's better. That's better. Yeah. That changes the look completely, doesn't it, with a little lip liner to it. So I thought I'd just share that with you guys. Oh, and I've got a couple of little freebie samples. What have I got in here? The Alginist um, Liquid Collagen. What I have to do with this? Oh, after cleansing and toning, apply to entire face, neck and decollete. For optimal results, follow with a moisturiser. Use only as directed. Okay, so it's just got like a little like a collagen liquid thingy magic and then i've got a prada carbon luna rosa so it's a little perfume sample for prada i love just popping these in my bag so if you're out and about and you need a little oh, i've got all hot and sweaty if you need a little um just a little spritz, you know. Oh, that's nice. Mmm. That's right up my street. It's not daytime. Definitely not daytime. That's that's quite essential. Heavy. If you like black opium, that type of a perfume, you'd you'd like this. It's very much along those lines. Slightly more lifted though, I think. I think it's a little bit lighter now, now that I'm, you know, getting the waft. It's a little bit more floral, a couple of more floral sort of notes coming through. But I mean, it's, oh, I like that a lot. I think that might go on a Christmas list or something because I really like the smell of that. And that's that then, guys. So I'm going to go and um, jump in the shower now and I will talk to you a bit later, probably tomorrow now. Um, I need to keep hydrated and, uh, yeah, chill for a little bit. I'll talk to you later.